welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at August 11, 2024's Elimination Sudoku by Clover. Clover is one of our sodas here at Gas HQ, so am I. My name is Bill Murphy. It is my pleasure, nay, my honor, to be solving this one for you today. Uh, we are gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku, um, and we create and make genuinely approachable Sudoku for you. These are the, these puzzles, they're free. The, in the description down below. I mean, you can sign up to our Patreons if you feel so inclined, but, you know, we're just going to keep doing this. Um, so, uh, in the link, you will also find hat times. Hat times are sort of a little indicator about how fast you solve in our puzzles. Two hats is for a very, very good time, very, very fast. One hat is for a pretty fast time, and everyone gets a dinosaur, because we love you all equally. Uh, that being said, let's get into today's puzzle. Uh, oh, and also, as always, if you drop your hat time in the comments, uh, my dog will get one pat per hat. So, uh, she is very much counting on you to, uh, be good. Psst, she's just gonna get pats anyway. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just get into today's puzzle. Now, uh, this is Elimination Sudoku. It's part of our Guess What Tomorrow's Variant is for August. Um, so, uh, normal Sudoku rules apply if you've never seen a Sudoku before. Place the digits 1 to 9 in each box, each row, and each column, once each. Now, if a digit appears in a cell with an arrow, like that one, it cannot appear uh, in any of the cells that that arrow points to. So, if I put a 2 here, I could not put a 2 in either of those cells. That's it. That's all you need to know um, to solve this puzzle. Uh, so, I'm about to kick this one off. I'm just going to reset my timer. Um, but I'm going to kick this off. Let's get going. Don't forget to give it a go before. So, uh, this is a naked single. Uh, this is a two. Uh, this is now a three seven pair. And this is a one five pair. Uh, this is two, four, five, six, eight, nine. I'm not going to pencil mark, mark that just yet. Now, uh, anytime you see a pattern on the variance in a Sudoku where it goes around the grid, um, what we probably tried to communicate is that, uh, the same logic can go the whole way around. Now, where does one go in box two? So... One can't go in either of these two cells, so it must go here. But if one went on the arrow, then how do I get a one here? Hmm? So, one can't be here, so one must go there. Uh, where does three go in this box? Well, three can't go in those cells. Three can't go down here, because we've got a three here. So that's three. Uh, now, we need to place... Uh, oh, what am I looking at down here? It is a five. Five cannot go in that cell because we got a five there. So that's a five. Uh, and seven. Seven can't go in that cell. So seven must go there. Uh, so that's that's a really good dent into today's puzzle. Uh, this is two, three, and four. I'm going to clean it up in a second before anyone uh, jumps into the comments. Uh, so that's seven, eight, and nine. Now, Seven can't go here, because we have a seven there. Two can't go here, because we have a two in the row. But it, we also can't put a three there, because we have a three along this diagonal. So this is four. We'll take the four out of here. This two, three pair points down to here. Seven and three. Now, uh, this, this cannot be a one, because I've just put a one up here. So I'll take the one out of there. It means one has to go in one of those two cells, but it means one can't go here, crucially. So that's five and one. We'll take the five out of here. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, now, these do even more damage. So if this is three, then how do I put a three up here? So that must be two and three. Uh, and then this can't be a seven because that uh that sees a seven so we'll take the seven out of here put a seven down here now uh this can't be a five because we've placed a five in here so we'll do five there 
Um, I regret to inform you all, Betty has just farted. Um, so, and if you're like, but why do I need to know that? You didn't. But what what else are you doing with your night? Um, we'll t- <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> two can't go in this cell because we got a two there. So this is nine. Uh, this is now one, two pair. Uh, one, two, six, and two go that way. Now, this cell over here sees this nine. So this can't be nine. So that must be eight and nine. This one, two arrow sees this one. So this is two and then one. And now we can do box five. So that's eight and nine. And this is four and six. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty funky. Now, uh, pa, 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 let's... So when you get to this point in a Sudoku, the thing you want to be doing is you want to be examining where you think you have the most information. Now that's going to be like, your row three, your column three, and your row seven, and your column seven now. So let's do that. I'm gonna look specifically at my arrows because I think there's a lot to find there. Uh, now, this can only be one, four, six, or seven because that's where I've got left to place in the row. And that arrow that I've got selected can't be six or seven because it sees it in the row. And one, it sees along the diagonal. So that's a four. Uh, this can't be one, six, or seven. Uh, and it sees a one there, so that's not quite enough. But let's go this way. Uh, three, four, five, and eight. That's that's what I'm after because it sees three in the row, eight and five along the diagonal. So that's a four. Uh, two, five, six, and seven here. This arrow sees two and seven along that diagonal and five there. So that's a six. Uh, two, five, and seven there. Mm. Yeah, seven there, two there. So that's a five, meaning this is a two and a seven. We have a seven here, which tells us which way around that goes. Let's have a look. I just, I, I still can't finish off uh, column seven, but I can put a five because five can't go there. Five can't uh, see that cell, so that must be a five. Uh, one, three, six, and nine to go here. Uh, this cell sees one, three, and nine, so that must be a six. Uh, this cell sees just three and nine right there, so that's one. We have a three in column nine, so that's nine and three. Uh, this cell I can finally do, that's one, and it sees a one and a six, so that's a seven. Uh, we have both a one and a six in rows one and nine to tell us which way around that goes. Uh, three and eight. How can I still not do that? Mental. All right. Anyway, we are mostly just down to classic Sudoku now. Um, but uh, four. Where does four go in column one? Four goes here. Um, oh, I can just do that. That's a five. Uh, this is an eight nine pair, which means this is two seven. I know which way around that goes because I've got a seven in row two, and then nine and eight to place in column one. I know which way around that goes. I still can't do this three eight. Insane. All right, uh, two and four. Four goes there. Two. Uh, this is three five and eight. Uh, no, not three five and eight. Uh, that's a one eight. Thank, thankfully, I can now finish that off. Uh, three there, one there. Um, now we're just cleaning this up. Uh, this has been Elimination Sudoku by Clover. My name's still Bill Murphy, and, you know, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.